You know when you request books from the library and you're like, yeah, yeah, I'll get this book, I'll get this book, I'll re request 35 books at once, and then 17 of them arrive at once? Hi guys, it's your girl Courtney. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a library haul for you. I know most booktubers just do book hauls, as in books that they've bought, but that's not a reality for me, so instead I've got a massive library haul for a lot of these books. I requested them mostly based on Goodreads or booktube recommendations so I purposely don't know that much about them and won't be able to tell you that much about them so if you're interested I'd recommend looking them up especially on Goodreads which is how I've been researching my books. So let's do it. My first book is Security by Gina Walsdorf. It's my understanding this is a sort of science fiction... Oh, I should have looked at these descriptions before I started the video. Well, the back's describing it as Tarantino-esque and blockbuster-ish, so that's fun. I think it's a thriller set in a hotel, and I love grand hotels, they're one of my favourite aesthetics, and I love thrillers, so I'm looking forward to this. Next, we've got Golden Boy by Abigail Tartelin. I know almost nothing about this book, except that I believe it's a young adult contemporary, and it's about an intersex character, which is great because I'm looking to diversify the sort of characters I'm reading about, not just straight people, gay people, lesbians, so this is cool. We've got Hex by Thomas Oldie Hewelt. That can't be his real name, can it? The old spelt as in, like, of ye old times, which make me think this must be a pen name. Let me know if you know. Hex is, I believe, a witch horror. I could be really wrong. Yes, it's about the Black Rock Witch. I love witches, I love horror, so this is going to be right up my alley. This is The Miniaturist by Jessie Burton. All I really know about this is that I believe there's a lesbian element, which I'm excited about, and it might be magical realism. This is one of the books that I came to know about through booktube, and I sort of just heard about it, can't remember what it's about now, but I'm excited to read it. She's excited to read it. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are Dead by Tom Stoppard, which is a spin-off play from Hamlet. I've never seen Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are Dead performed, and I'm not sure how it will go reading the play instead of seeing it, but it's very thin. I'll probably get through it in one sitting. I've got More Than This by Patrick Ness. This, I believe, is a queer science fiction, which I am very excited about. I've seen a lot of people recommend this. I know it was very popular in 2016. Libabre Beauty Queens. As you can see, I've definitely gone for a lot of popular books. Books that sounded appealing to me though as well that are being talked about a lot on booktube. Probably just to be in the know. And this sounds so up my alley. It's about beauty queens who crash on a desert island, have to fight, dance, live it out, which is pretty much my life. So The First Bad Man by Miranda July. I've read a Miranda July short story collection, what was it called? I've read the Miranda July short story collection No One Belongs Here More Than You, so The First Bad Man is a novel. I'm excited to see her write in long form because I think that her writing style is very interesting. Quirky feels like the obvious description, but hey, I like it. It's quirky. Grasshopper Jungle by Andrew Smith. About two boys who bring about uh, apocalypse via a six foot praying mantis is what I've been led to believe, which I can definitely get behind. The Trial by Franz Kafka. I'm excited about this. I'm reading it for my upcoming university course, so I'll probably put it in my university TBR video that I've got coming out in about a month or so. This is, if you don't know, a classic about a man who's mysteriously put on trial for a crime he doesn't know that he's committed. I was also pleasantly surprised by how short it is, so it hopefully shouldn't be too dense. I got Carol by Patricia Highsmith. I've never read any Patricia Highsmith. I haven't read The Talented Mr. Ripley yet, although it's on my TV read list. TV read? It's on my TBR. I wanted to read Carol before I saw the film. It's sort of amazing I haven't seen the film yet, considering my interests, but I've somehow avoided it. Or maybe if I read the book and really enjoy it, I'll be able to finally see the film because I have high hopes for it. Next is Lines by Bonnie Nadzam. I have read one of her novels before, her short novels before. The name escapes me now. It was about a girl who was vaguely kidnapped. It was very dark. It was about a road trip. 
The other booktubers prepare for their videos. This is a book I've already started, A House at the Bottom of a Lake by Josh Mallerman. Josh Mallerman is the author of my favourite horror right now, which is Bird Box, which I would totally recommend. It's terrifying. This is very short, which I didn't expect. I've already begun it. I'm really liking it so far. It seems very sweet. It's about two teenagers who are going on their first date and while canoeing they discover an empty house at the bottom of a clear lake. It's a horror as well, not just a fantasy. Probably finish it tonight. Next is a book that just makes me mad at Goodreads. I did a brief poll of all of these books before I went to pick them up, asking which I should start with, and overwhelmingly, eventually another book overtook it, but in the beginning overwhelmingly was Under the Dome by Stephen King, which I had requested kind of just on a whim, not knowing much about it. When I saw how many votes it was getting I looked into it more and then I learned that it was a thousand and twenty four pages long so thanks guys. Hopefully I'll get to this book, hopefully the library allows me to renew it. It does look very interesting, I like that it's got a map of the town that's under the dome at the front. It is about the length of five books for what I would usually read. I want to finish this one, it's really a matter of whether or not I can get through it before the library wants it back. But Everyone's got to have goals. Oh, I didn't even explain what this book's about. This is about a town that gets put under a dome. I've got Foul Side by M. R. Carey, which I believe is a thriller or perhaps even a horror about a girl in a maximum security prison who hears a little boy whispering to her, which sounds very gothic and appealing to me. I've got Alan Bennett, Smut. I read The Uncommon Reader, which is about the Queen and a mobile library and it was very charming and a very easy sort of one sitting read. I think Smut will be along the same lines, I probably will just read this on the bus. And lastly the book which has so far overwhelmingly gotten the most votes on Goodreads for me to start with, More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera, which is a very popular queer young adult novel. I think it's young adult, possibly contemporary. I do know something about this book that is a bit of a spoiler, but the dust jacket describes it as eternal sunshine of a spotless mind for this generation, so that gives you a little bit of a hint if you know that film. I'm excited about this. Eternal sunshine encompasses a sort of genre within science fiction that I'm very enamored with that's more philosophical rather than gun-toting. Not that gun-toting science fiction isn't brilliant as well. And it's gay, so... So that's all 17 of the books that I'm hoping to read within the next month and a half. Ambitious? Yes. Impossible? Probably. I've got a few videos in the pipeline, a mixture of ASMR and booktube for my two kind of groups of subscribers. I'm planning on creating a tag soon in collaboration with my friend Caleb, which will be the series of unfortunate events tag for fans of that book. So if you're a fan of that book and want to be tagged in that video, just comment down below. Also, if you have any recommendations for which of these books I should start with after I finish Josh Mallerman's novella, please let me know because I'm reluctant to start off under the dome. See ya!